What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Brother19 here, back at y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share a video. Woo wee! Hope everybody's doing alright. Hope everybody's doing excellent. Hope everybody is blessed. Got a good one for you guys today. Got a good one. The topic of conversation today is called I'm a, I'm using what you need against you in order to defeat you. I'm going to say that again. I'm using what you need against you in order to defeat you. I want to speak uh, strictly to all my black brothers and black sisters particularly and everything. And uh, this ain't got nothing to do with nobody else when talked about us and everything. You guys, let me explain something to you and everything. First and foremost, I'm always saying, always will say, I'm proud to be a black man. I'm proud black, brown, whatever the hell you want to call it. And everything, I'm proud of it and everything because I understand the sacrifice that black people made way before my ass was even born. Okay? Let me explain this to you guys, though. A lot of us have lost our way and a lot of us have forgotten where the hell we came from. Okay? Understand something and everything. You cannot move forward and everything if you don't know if you uh <coughs> excuse me <coughs> you cannot move forward and everything without first coming from the back you got to be able to know where you come from and everything you got to be able to know how you got here okay you can't understand your present if you haven't investigated your past now as a black man in this uh country particularly and everything we are often black men or black women we are often mistreated. We are often disrespected. You got these damn times running around here talking about how stupid and ignorant we are. Okay? And you have a lot of people who always say that, oh, we make excuses for why we act the way we do. We always complain. We always start and shit. We're gang bangers. We're drug dealers. We're uh, killers, murderers. We are uh, always incarcerated. We want to blame everybody else for our downfall. Blame everybody else for why things are the way they are. First of all, I'm going to debunk that and throw that shit in the trash today. Understand some of you guys. Black men, particularly, black men and Latino men make up the most of the population in prison. That's not a surprise and everything given how America is. I understand we just had the election and I say again, I don't care if you put Democrat or Republican in their office, I don't see no change in America. It's going to still be racist hell. you still going to have problems. you still going to have the same issues you had before 20, 30 years ago. Okay? I'm not Democrat or Republican. I don't trust neither party. All right? Also, you guys, I'm going to break down some here. One of the biggest arguments people use against... Hold on one second. Okay. One of the biggest arguments people use against when a black man or black woman trying to speak up about how we are treated is black on black violence or how we treat each other. First and foremost, you guys have heard me say countless times, stop classifying us together. Okay, we are not all the same. We don't have the same values, nor do we have the same structure. Okay, we may look the same complexion wise and everything, but that don't mean we got that we have the same heart. Okay. When a black man do something stupid or a black woman do something stupid, everyone is quick to shout our people. And like I said before, <coughs> where you didn't see me nowhere robbing no store. You didn't see me nowhere kidnapping no child. You didn't see uh, another black woman uh, killing somebody, uh, doing this or doing that and everything. Stop charging. When it, I don't understand. When it comes to the black race, when one or, one or two of us do something stupid, man or woman, they all want to say our people. You charge us collectively instead of charging us individually, okay? It's the same thing with these bullshit-ass statistics, okay? Black people are prone to do this. Black people are prone to do that. Everything. That's not true. There are some people who actually been raised right out here. There are some people who had their ass whooped out here, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know that and everything. And something else I want to tell you guys. When you get up in the morning, okay? When you get up in the morning, if you thank God and everything, you should, first of all, be proud of who you are. If you are not proud of you, I ain't talking about nobody else's opinion. I said, if you are not personally proud of who you are, it sounds like to me you need to make some changes or some geographic changes, okay? Depends on the situation, depends on the person. 
Understand something. As a black man, as a black woman, you will always have targets on your head. You will always be discriminated. You will always be violated. You will always have your rights taken from you and everything. That's why I want to hear no shit about talking about we free in this country. No, we're not. And I'm going to say again to my homeowners and car owners, you do not own shit in this damn country. You are renting. Think I'm lying? Don't pay your taxes on your house. Think I'm lying? Don't keep up the registration and car insurance on your car. Let me know what America do to you. They're going to take that shit from you. Okay? Now, let's talk about the black on black violence. Black men this, black men that. Y'all always holler out the white man and everything. Let me get your house nigga ass straight here. First and foremost, you probably, if you've been following me long enough, you've heard me say this. Black man. <coughs> they say we, we hate each other. We can't stand each other. There's no uh, unity in the black community. Again, bullshit. Let me explain. You get a black man. You get a black man and everything. He, um, what was my train of A black man, he has, he has an issue. I'm just using this scenario. He has an issue. His child is, uh, sick. Okay? I'm just using the scenario here. His child is sick. Got two different black men and everything. Not one, but two different black men got the exact same problem. Their child is sick. And it's going to cost them $100 each to fix whatever is wrong with their child. Otherwise, their child would die health wise okay i'm just giving a scenario here what america do and what america will keep doing and they have two america will have a hundred dollars in this hand and a hundred dollars in the other hand i can i'm gonna play the role as america i can give you a hundred dollars and i can give you a hundred dollars y'all can go on about your business there's no beef there's no anger there's no hatred there's none of that but what america will do would grab a hundred dollars, throw it between you, you two black men, and say you two niggas fight and kill each other over it. Whoever survived, that's who get the hundred dollars. And what these damn times would do will highlight, they will highlight you doing this. That way, they have, they, are, they will further their argument and everything to say, well, why are we blaming uh, other races when we do the exact same thing to each other? What I'm saying to you guys is this. When you sit, when you struggling, when you down and out, <coughs> America uses what you need against you. You both need a hundred dollars, but why sit there and give you both a hundred dollars and everything? That way, there would be no again, no beef, no killing, no shooting, everything. I'm gonna make y'all fight each other over. And here's the thing about this: if you two fighting, you two black men are fighting over it and everything. One of you kill the other. He gets the hundred dollars, but the man you kill dies, and the child dies because you never because the other man didn't give the hundred dollars for the child in order to fix it. But this man who killed him and everything, what they're going to do? He's going to go to jail, and his child is going to die because he can't pay the hundred dollars. That hundred dollars eventually will go back to America. Brandon, what you saying? America set booby traps. As a black man and as a black woman in the black community to make us fight against each other, to make it seem like we hate each other, but in reality, we fighting over stuff that we need. This is why they tear all the schools down. This is why they don't pay you shit on these jobs or don't pay you at all because they want to disproportionalize you in the black community to get rid of you. Again, why if... If I can't get in your community to destroy you, then I'm going to send something there that will destroy you, okay? I'm going to send drugs in your area. I'm going to send AIDS in your area. I'm going to send all this stuff in your area, everything, alcohol, everything, who, again, alcohol, drugs, who in what community that you know got more alcohol and drugs other than the black community? I'm going to send this stuff in your area and everything. That way, that can decrease your population. Because here's the trick, especially particularly about the drug trade. I put the cocaine, I put the fentanyl, I put the uh, weed and everything. Well, now they legalized weed, but at the time they didn't. I put all this shit in your area. That way you guys sell uh, drugs to each other, therefore killing off each other with the drug and drug overdose and everything. I'm gonna use that in order to destroy you at the same time while I'm selling, while you selling drugs to each other and everything and fighting and killing each other over the profits that you get from the drugs and everything. 
I'm making a, a killing because now they killed off you, killed off you with drugs. Then I incarcerate you for the ones that are still alive. Okay. America does that all the time. They use what you need against you in order to destroy you. I give you another example for those who didn't catch what I said. Two black, two black men. <clears throat> two black men walking in the desert. They dehydrated as hell. I, I'm America. I got a big ass gallon of water in my hand. Fresh, drinkable water. Instead of me giving you both a huge gulf of water and everything where you can you know, dehydrate, excuse me, where you can hydrate yourself because now you about to pass out, you dehydrated everything. Instead of me giving you water and everything, why not sit here and, and let both of you two, in America's turn, let both of you two niggas fight over that gallon of water and whoever survives, that's who get the water. In reality speaking, while you get through fighting and killing each other over it and everything, Who's to say I'm still, as America, who's to say I'm still give it to you? Because now you just, again, you just took out another black man. And another way they do it, and if that's relates to the kids, and the black woman. You, they push the black man out of the home with these public, excuse me, with these public houses and everything. Public housing, uh, Section 8, and all this stuff and everything. They do this stuff because now they can control you. You got to abide by their rules and everything. If you're on Section 8, public house and everything, and nine times out of ten, they try to get the man out of the home. If you own food stamps, they try to get you out of the home. Get the black man out of the home. That way, that puts more pressure on the black woman to take care of the kids. Now, she working two jobs. They're trying to take care of uh, two or three kids and everything. And the problem is with that, who's raising the child? Who's raising the child? The child is running free. They growing up and everything in a chaotic environment where they seeing people getting shot at, prostitution, drug use and everything. Before they get uh, 15, 16 years old and everything, they either use or sell drug or sold drugs. America know what they doing. They've been doing it for a long time. And only thing the role at the house nigga play, his, his or her job and everything is to magnify and to notify and everything about what we're doing. This, therefore, it distracts the attention of what's really going on. Again, it's like a, black, a white man over here picking a lock for the breaking somebody's house. I'm up here selling drugs to another black man. House nigga come along. They say, well, look at these two black men selling drugs. They want to blame society, but they do it, but they try to distract or ignore or deviate for what the white man is doing. Or we want to blame the race and everything. Blame the race my ass. I'm just telling you facts. Again, we didn't put no damn drugs in our area. Where we get some ships and boats and stuff? We don't create none of that shit. Where we getting that from? We don't own no trains. Where we getting that from? The thing about it is they use this stuff in order to destroy you. They use it. They just try to destroy all of us and everything. This is why you get a lot of black men or, or house niggas because they got money or they're famous and everything. They sit up and talk about how divided we are. We're not divided. The problem is and everything, here's the thing. If we are divided, we ain't the one who sliced it down the middle. If we dislike each other and everything, it's not because of our own color, of our own skin. It's because and everything, we're fighting for survival. And it's sadly, sadly, reality and everything, if it means me and my family eat tonight as a result of me robbing you as another black man, or is it, if it means, if it means, me uh me staying alive or my kids or my best friend staying alive as a result of me killing you so be it that's what that's what they put it designed it for black people and everything black men and black women we used to hurt and kill each other this way but again jim crow they designed this stuff and everything so you can do that again if you are dying of thirst everything and I got a big ass gallon of water in my hand and everything and I can give it to you why do that as America when I can see is two niggas I see dying in front of me and everything why give both of y'all a swig of the water when I can sit back and let you guys fight over it you fight punch stab shooting each other over and everything because you trying to survive not because you hate each other because you trying to survive America knows this that's why they do stuff that they do that's why they put you in certain environments and everything, in certain places. The way these kids is being brought up in a chaotic environment, they're being brought up in everything, drug use 
and everything, and violence, and all this other crazy stuff that way because they get the dad out the home, put all the pressure on the black mother. She's trying to work two and three jobs. She's stressing out. Who's raising the kids? Who, who, who's teaching the kids morals and, and um, values and everything and respect? Who's raising them? And then look at the school that they go to. They go to school and everything. And teacher barely teach anything. They go to school and everything. And the teachers don't even care about them. They, they can't have anything because they worry about somebody uh, shooting somebody at the park. It's not about black hate black. It's never been about that. It's black has been fooled and everything. And uh, they've been fooled to believe and everything that they hate each other when reality is you are fighting for survival. And people who ain't been through that don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Just because your ass black or black, brown, whatever the hell you want to call it, just because you, that same race don't mean you understand. That's why they call it the hood. Because that's exactly what it is. It's a hood and everything designed by America and everything to try to harvest as many damn black men and everything or black women, keep you in a section, almost like a concentration camp and everything in order to section you off from the quote unquote modern society. That's why they have such a, excuse me, such a quick reaction when they see a bunch of black men or black women together. Because they want to sit here and stereotype, say we all are evil, we all are drug dealers, we all are everything, but you the one put the damn drugs in our area. You put all the beer and the alcohol in our area, and you know damn well it's killing somebody. You put AIDS and, and, and sexual transmitted diseases in our area because you try to pick us off. Instead of you doing it personally, you go and send this stuff in our area to pick us off. It's kind of like this. I'll put these in a more simple term. If I want to destroy uh, 20 black men and I can't physically get there, I'm going to send something there that will cause friction. One of the best ways you can do that and everything is uh, send drugs, send alcohol, send, um, excuse me, send all this stuff over there. That way, because they drugs, you can use that and everything a way to become, make a profit. I'm going to take the jobs away. If you do got a job, I ain't gonna pay your shit on it. Because I don't want you to get out of that cycle. Because my job as America, I make $74 billion a year by putting your black ass in jail. Remember, there's no peace. There's no, uh, excuse me, there's no money in peace. There's no money in peace. I'm gonna say it again, there's no money in peace. This is why they do the shit that they do. Pay attention, you guys. If I can't destroy you single-handedly myself, then I'm going to put stuff in your environment so you can destroy yourselves. I'll put the drugs there. I'll put the guns there. I'll put the, uh, excuse me, I'll put the, the, the disease there. That way y'all can pick yourself off. And here come the house nigga with the camera talking about look how the, our people act. This is something I've been knowing for years. Understand this, you guys. I don't care who in that damn White House, Democrat or Republican and everything, neither party don't give a shit about your ass, as a, particularly as a poor black man or poor black woman. They don't give a shit about you. You can vote all you want to, go to them polls all you want to and everything. America was built on racism. It was built on lies. It wasn't built on love and understanding and everything. Don't, don't be fooled. Please do not be fooled. Be not deceived, okay? One of the biggest issues in the black community everything is cross contamination. Contamination. That's the problem. And what I mean by cross contamination and everything, the wrong people have came into our area. Again, they look like us, but they have poisoned our people. They say it's our fault. You were the idiots. We're the dummies. When you sat up here and enslaved us, you did all this crooked shit and everything, you got to learn wonder why somebody complained. You take jobs away from you, hung us from trees. You old punk ass police sat up here and killed us and everything for no damn reason. And then you wonder why people act the way they do. A black man and everything, excuse me, got a felony on his record. He done learned some sense now and in jail, just use it hypothetically speaking, and been in jail for seven, eight years. He done learned some sense now. Now he about 31, 32, getting out of prison, got a felony on his record, trying to get him a decent job and everything and won't nobody hire him. 
but yet a man got 32 or 33 damn felonies and his ass sitting up in office right now in the White House. Please tell me make it make sense. And understand something else, black man, black woman. If you say you got your, your friends back, if you say we brothers and everything, or quote unquote we niggas and everything, you say we quote unquote niggas, we, we got each other back and everything, understand something. Do not be phony and do not be fake. There's a lot of damn people out here, just because they look like you don't mean they respect you and don't mean they feel where you're coming from. Everybody talking about being real and being hood and being street and everything. Being real is helping your fellow brother out. Being real and everything is respecting the sister that have your kids. Being real is respecting the man that you had the kids by. That's what being real is about. Not setting somebody up to get killed. Not sit up here tarming and everything and set somebody up with the feds and everything. Now your ass get hauled off to jail. I don't understand and everything. How we run around talking about we real, we all this and everything. But yet, when uh, your, your dude, the guy that's been down with you and everything, when he really needs you, you ran off and left him. You left him there to die. You left him there to get robbed. He being shot at and everything. Instead of you being a real one and at least shooting back and helping everything, you run off and leave his ass. I don't get it. Don't get it twisted. Anybody watching me that is not black and everything, I get on our people too. Just like I uphold, I get on it all. Watch the whole channel before you get to talking shit. Understand something, black man and black woman. If you don't love yourselves and everything, don't expect nobody else to. If you don't respect your fellow brother or your fellow sister and everything, don't expect nobody else to. They put this shit in, in our uh, areas and everything so we can hurt and kill each other. They don't care nothing about kids getting killed. Again, when a black man or black woman die, it's one less nigga I got to worry about. That's America's motto. One less nigga I got to worry about. That's why they put all this stuff in our area so this stuff can happen. This ain't about, ain't about placing blame and pointing the finger at nobody. But damn it, you put the drugs, you put the guns, you put all this shit in our area so we can uh, kill off each other. And if we try to make it out of the hood and everything, you raise the rent up and everything so we can't afford it. Come on now, we know the game. You sit up and serve, you serve us and sell us food that you know is not healthy. You put um, alcohol, like I said, alcohol and drug stuff in our area. And you know that causes cancer. It causes the heart disease. You got a single parent mother stressed out and everything. She taking drugs or using drugs or drinking or something because she's so stressed out. She's trying to figure out how I'm going to take care of three kids. Because she hurry up got the man out of the home. Or it might be dead or in jail. Black community, oh, we're so lost and everything. First of all, let me tell you something. Your mind is the map of your life. Your mind is the map of your life. But it's your heart that does the navigation. It's your heart that does the navigation. Don't ever get that shit twisted. Your heart does the navigation. Your map, your, your mind is the map. The problem is with the black community, we're not the ones doing the navigation. We have the map in our mind, but we ain't the one doing the navigation. That's why we keep ending up in places that we shouldn't be. So I'm just here to tell you and everything. As a black man, as a black woman, wake your ass up. I don't give a damn who you put in that damn White House. This shit is not going to change. You put a Democrat in that office and everything, what change? You put a Republican in that office, what change? In other words, was America's telling you we don't give a damn about your black poor ass. Or you are, I'm gonna put it to you like this bluntly. Well, here's the thing, the rich, the rich, they start these damn wars, all they're trying to do is start another war. They start these damn wars and they're just gonna send your poor black ass to go fight. Only thing you are to, in other words, what America's saying, we gonna play the role as pimps. We gonna play the role and everything as your owner. And you gonna do what we say. That's why they create these, excuse me, the public housing, food stamps, section A, they create all this shit and everything because you gotta abide by their rules. And if you don't and everything, they gonna kick you off of it. So I'm just telling you, how long you gonna keep listening to a lie? You put two lions in a cage. Two lions are two black people. Anybody been following my channel? I made a video way back 
ago, long ago about two lions trapped in a cage. That's two black men. That's two black men trapped in a cage. There's no beef. There's no anger. There's no killing each other. But the two lions are hungry. The two lions are hungry. America got a whole big ass cart of meat that can feed both of the lions together. But America's not going to do that. What America's going to do is take a big ass piece of meat, throw it between the two lions and watch these two lions kill each other over it. Because they're using what you need against you in order to destroy you. And then when it look when it's uh, seen on TV or when it's seen on social media, look how our people act. Be not deceived, y'all. Please be not deceived. Black people, black, brown, whatever the hell you want to call it, our people, our people have came a long way. And they have paved the way. I'm talking about the ancestors and people behind us. They have paved the way so we can be here today. Don't, have, don't let their sacrifice be in vain. Don't let some damn Tom sit up here and brainwash your ass. If it wasn't for their sacrifice and everything, we wouldn't be sitting here. So I'm just here to tell you and everything. You keep your head up. You stay motivated. And you try to help as many people as you can. Remember, statistically speaking, everything, I should be just now getting out of prison. I'm 34 years old. I should have three kids by two different mamas. I should be high looking for my next high felony on my record, can't get a good job and everything. But I'm sorry, I didn't fall into that. And it ain't because, now it ain't just because I, um, it ain't because I wasn't in around that kind of environment because I chose not to. I saw the booby traps. I saw the little schemes that they try to do. America ain't fooling nobody. And let me tell you something else I saw and everything. I've been noticing there's been some texts and everything, text, you know, text message. Talking about that uh, some slaves report back to the plantation, plantation and all this stuff. There's somebody being fun, calling itself trying to be funny. We taking back our country. How the hell are you going to take back something that was never yours in the first place? Wake up, black people. America have used and abused your black ass. They talking about ain't no unity and everything. There wasn't no unity and everything. Explain to me what happened to John Africa, a black brother in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. When he was when he was march not marching, when he was standing up for about standing against, I should say, about what was going wrong in America, because he did not like it. Him and the people, they did not like it. What does America do? Not no damn terrorists. What does America do and everything? They send police officers to shoot at them. They even send tanks over there to blow them up. They even sent firemen over there when they went in the houses to take refuge and everything. Look it up in your black history book. John Africa and everything. They took, um, <coughs> excuse me, they took uh, firemen and everything, sprayed water, and they was trying to drown them. When men, black men and black women had to hold their babies up and everything to keep the kid children from drowning. They didn't put that in the history book, but it's in black history. Look it up, John Africa. Look up the story. I'm just telling you. Same thing. I, I said this before and everything. Look at the automatic gear shift. Look at the automatic gear shift. It's created by a black man. We have park, reverse, neutral, drive. With the car self-consciously telling you, I can't go forward unless I go backwards. I got to know where I'm coming from. It's kind of like this. You're in park right now. But if you hit reverse, you go backwards. And when you go backwards, the next gear is neutral. Neutral and everything, you're not stopped and you're not going, but you're kind of in limbo, which means you're learning. You're learning what was going on behind you. You're learning what was going on in your past. You're learning and everything, what was going on then and where you come from as a black man and black woman. And then by the time you realize that, you understand that, you put it in drive and you can move forward. Don't forget where you come from. I don't give a damn where this country go. I don't give a damn what uh, Democrat, Republican, everything, damn party give a damn about your black ass. If you foolishly think they do, something's wrong with you. So I'm just telling you, it don't make sense, you guys. I don't wanna hear no shit about no black this, black that, white this, white that. If your ass, if, if, I'm gonna put it to you like this. Ain't no racism in America, huh? Let me ask you this then. Trayvon Martin was killed by George Silverman. I know you don't give a damn. That ain't none of your son. I know you don't care. 
but uh, killed by George Simeon because we getting his ass whooped over a fight he started. Because he called himself, that's another thing, trying to police some damn body. Got his ass whooped, that's why he pulled out a gun and shot Trayvon Martin. And of course he got away with it. Stop talking about Trayvon Martin, I don't care about that. We know how shit is, Brandon. Bullshit! That had been your son, you'd have said something different. We shoot and kill Trayvon Martin. We shoot, how about Tamir Rice? Black people are the most hypocritical people and everything. Bullshit! Tamir Rice got shot and killed. Yeah, a toy gun. Shoot that damn boy three, four times. Roll up and just shot and killed the boy. Got away with it. Both officers got away with it. Well, they have a right and everything. He had a weapon and everything. But then why didn't you shoot that crazy ass white boy who had an AR-15, the infamous gun that America hates? Shot and killed all them damn white people in the uh, movie theater, but you don't shoot and kill him. You hold your fire when it's your own America, but you hurry up and kill and unalive people that look just like me. But there ain't no racism in America. Oh, I don't want to hear that stuff, Brandon. Again, why are you listening to me then? This shit got to change. This shit ain't right. These policies, Jim Crow, modern day Jim Crow, this shit ain't right. Do not let nobody deceive you. Do not let nobody brainwash you. They use what's Excuse me. They use what you need against you in order to destroy you. The same way, if they, I know, if, again, when you're a child like me and everything, my, one of my favorite cartoons was Tom and Jerry. Okay, it was Tom and Jerry. Still is to the day. I watch my cartoons, still is today. But I'm making a point here. Follow me here. Tom will always, often use cheese to draw Jerry out of the hole. By the time Jerry realized and everything, Tom tried to, you know, smash and try to, you know, uh, catch Jerry. He was trying to eat him. The point I'm making is, is this. Of course, Jerry ain't about smart in time. Again, it's a cartoon. But how this relates to real life. If I can't come after you physically and attack you, then I'm going to use something to draw you out. I'm going to use something you love to draw you out. I'm going to use something you need to draw you out in order to destroy you. It's called bait. How you gonna catch a fish? You better put a worm on that damn hook. I got to use something to draw you out to destroy you. Cause I can't destroy you by myself. So I gotta use something. I gotta use a phony ass friend of yours and everything to set your ass up to get you robbed. I gotta use a phony ass friend of yours to set you up and everything to get killed. So I'm just telling you, the choice is yours. How long is a snake going to keep hissing in your face until it bites your ass? Pay attention. Pay attention. The choice is yours, baby. The choice is yours. Oh, and by the way, as far as the drugs, let me show you something real quick. You ready? 12,700 black men, or black people, I should say, are reportedly killed each year due to gun violence. 12,700, statistically speaking, 12,700 black people are killed each year due to gun violence. It is all black, black gun violence. 12,700 people. We make up the less of the population. We are the minority. So which you want your 40 acres in the mule? No, we want to foot up your ass. That's what we want. Like I said, map, but it's your heart that does the navigation. All right? $110 billion are made or sold each year by selling drugs, which is heroin. $110 billion is made by selling heroin each year in the U.S. $130 million, uh, billion, excuse me, is made by selling uh, cocaine each year. $130 billion. Again, if I can't kill you in the, when you guys making a, a drug transaction, if I can't kill you in that way, then I'm gonna kill you with the drug. And if I can't kill you with the drug, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna set your ass up to get you incarcerated. I'm gonna set your ass up to get you incarcerated. And one way or the other, I'm gonna figure out how to destroy your black ass. That's what America is saying. And people ain't woke up to that yet. Again, like, again, like Jerry the Mouse, if I can't come in here and destroy you myself, then I'm going to send something in there that's going to draw you out, out in the open. Then I can destroy you.
or let you destroy yourselves. Twitch is yours. Keep on thinking this shit ain't real. Keep on thinking of everything like I said. Anybody want to hate or say some got some negative say about it and everything, again, why are you listening to me? I don't have time for no house, nigga. I ain't got time for no time. They've been doing this shit, y'all, for a long time. They've been doing this shit for a long time. They use what you need against you in order to destroy you. They're going to keep doing it. So I asked the question and everything. Are you awake? Do you see what they're doing? And if so, why not spread the word to try to fix it? See, the game plan was supposed to be. If I make it out of the hood, I become a millionaire or billionaire. My job is to teach the next black man to make it out of the hood. He would teach the next black man. He teach the next black man. She teach the next black woman. Teach the next black woman to get out the hood. That's what was supposed to be. But you got these damn toms coming to our area because they look like us, and they cross contaminate us and everything, and say that we're the problem. When reality, we're not. Our need is the problem. Our need. Because they use what we need against us. And they try to tell us to cope in order to cope with all the stress, the poverty, the 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 violence, the drug use, and all the crazy stuff that going in the area and everything. They used it. They try to tell you to go smoke or go drink when they know damn well that's helping destroying you. Choice is yours. The choice is yours. Y'all be blessed. And I hope you guys got some out of this today. But as a black man, you should be proud of this skin. It ain't, I wanna hear no shit about our people. That ain't what, it wasn't me that robbed that convenience store last night. That wasn't me that shot the clerk. That wasn't me running from the law. That wasn't me that raped that girl. It wasn't everything. So get this bullshit about our people out your damn head. Charge his ass or her ass individually. Stop charging us collectively. We are the only damn race on this damn planet that every time a black man or black woman do some stupid, they, the first thing they say is our people. This shit ain't right. Get it together. This is Rather 19. Help your fellow brother. Help your fellow brother. Okay? Don't sit around and wait on these crooked ass politicians to do nothing for you. You don't give a shit about your ass. You damn rich ass celebrities don't give a shit about your ass. Let me think about it. Look at Marcellus Williams. Brothers died, brother died in everything. Died over false pretense. Died over a lie. Tell me one celebrity you've seen sitting there, uh, sitting at that same place talking, trying to get him free. Tell me one celebrity you see got him a lawyer to try to free him. They don't give a shit. Long as they make money, long as they're famous, they don't care. Your choice. You want to be a victim or a victor? Your choice. Y'all be blessed. Don't ever forget where you come from. Pick up a black history book. Pick up a black history book and learn. Those are real legends in there. Quit listen to these damn lies the social media and TV is telling you. Just because your ass got money don't make you right. Just because your ass is famous don't make you right. Understand the struggles that black people before you went through. Back then, they, we helped each other. Back then we fought against discrimination and now we help aiding discrimination because we've been cross contaminated and everything and been confused and taught wrong because somebody else is doing the navigation for us instead of us doing the navigation for ourselves. Do shit right. It's Beretta 19, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Be blessed. Hold that fist high in the air. Anybody tell you the hell with black history, you tell them the hell with them. I can't have a president if I don't have a history. Get it together. Be blessed.